So it looks like that 2024 has a theme and that theme happens to be AI. And apparently plenty of companies, especially within the gaming industry is going to be utilizing this technology. And one of those companies is Square Enix and Square Enix president states that the company will be aggressively applying pressure, utilizing AI technology for future products and services moving forward. So before we dive into this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for more gaming content here on this channel. So it's just funny that we just recently talked about this when it comes to AI technology in my previous video where I talked about how Japanese publications, you know, when it comes to anime and manga, how they want to simultaneously release Japanese to English uh, releases alongside the Japanese release of mangas use a lot utilizing AI technology in order to release these at a faster rate and to also supposedly combat piracy but we already know what the deal is is the fact is that Western localization has been really really bad and I explained that a lot of Western localizers or aka activists are really upset at that is because AI technology is eventually is going to put them out of job especially if if the AI technology is going to do a much better job at translating a lot of these Japanese products um, moving forward. So now we're going to start seeing this in the gaming industry. Now, AI is is nothing new in gaming. AI has been used to be able to create some of the best gaming experience that we ever experienced when it comes to playing our video games, when it comes to how the enemies interact, how CPUs and talents people within rpgs and many other games of how they respond to the players and their interactions so ai is not that much new but them taking the aggressive stance and how to is going to affect releases of games moving forward it's a much different story from what's going to be seen from 2024 and beyond so in the article from ign it states that square enix president states that the company will be aggressive in applying AI. So the president carry you also wants greater collaboration between the development and publishing teams. So he states that Square Enix president Takashi Kiryu has penned a New Year letter and that outlines some of his visions for the company and reveals his plans to be aggressive in applying AI and other cutting edge technologies to both our content um, development and our publishing functions. Now, for those of you guys who don't know, every year the president, um, every time we begin a new year, the president will go out and put out a letter um, out to the shareholders. And then, of course, it's public for everybody to be able to see it for themselves. And he haven't he haven't been a fan. A lot of fans haven't been too, you know, excited or too crazy about his plans every time these newsletters come out. Because if you guys don't remember, back in 2022, he put a newsletter out talking about the metaverse and blockchain technology, how they're gonna double down on it. And that really didn't and a lot of fans were really, you know, disappointed and just baffled why they want to why the president went to step into the whole blockchain arena. So pretty much after he put this letter out talking about being aggressive towards AI technology, uh, fans are not really receiving that too well as well um, on Twitter. And I don't blame them from the past results, but we will have to dig in and find out what's being applied here when it comes to AI technology. So it states that Carrie, you begin about talking about how AI and its potential implications have been a long subject of academic debate. However, he says that the rise of chat GPT and similar generative AI programs has the potential not only to reshape what we create, but also to fundamentally change the process by which we create, including programming. And that's something that's really important when I talk about is programming, how developers and how programmers program these games. And the thing is, I don't know much about chat GPT. I never really used it before, but after doing some digging with the chat GPT, a lot of companies and a lot of people use this technology and i just want to talk about some of the key points that chat chat gpt does pretty much a powerful ai bot that can answer a wide range of questions and provide cohesive explanations in various topics it also this is the important part it has practical applications such as creating customized resumes crafting jokes explaining complex topics solving math problems and providing relationship advice now this is the thing that really really pointed out to me the most here is that providing or solving complicated math problems so when it comes to programming programming is a very very uh complicated type of math 
AI is concerned or how the game itself behave behind behind the scenes because we only see what's on the surface of a game but behind underneath what we see on screen and how we interact with the games is all types of coding and programming that's involved so using ai technology to somehow seamlessly make you know programming much easier and to solve complicated problems and better experience you know moving forward in the near future for gaming especially if when ai start to be able to come up and generate a lot of complex uh programming behind clothes behind the scenes so i think that's pretty cool as well so to continue in short term our goal will be to enhance our development productivity and achieve greater sophistication in our marketing efforts here you continue in the long term we hope to leverage those technologies to create new forms of content for consumers as we believe the technology technological innovation represents business opportunities and this is something i also wanted to point out too yes i think with ai so we already starting to see it in what we talked about comes to localization and we see in other industries of how ai is definitely going to start replacing you know some jobs in certain positions because ai can take over and alleviate some of that workload and i believe when it comes to gaming itself when it comes to ai it does it will help and i think in a sense when it comes to programming and other technologies that they have within these companies it'll allow them to be able to in the short term of course be able to produce you know much faster um, products uh, moving forward so it says on the publishing front carry you reveals that the company wants to enable greater global collaborations and to promote the shift to digital the team hopes that this will allow them to not only give um, them the chance to maximize our sales of new titles but also deliver our rich backlog to more customers and in turn to expand the fan base for our group intellectual properties and i think this is going to be another sense for them to be able to go into their backlog utilize ai technology to guess to render things much better and to i i would say expect more remasters and i guess you would say remakes for them to spin around a lot of these products um, much faster and i think that will give them a sense or it gives them that ability to go back in to revive a lot of old franchises um moving forward so we will have to see how that's going to be utilized in the fold as time progress when it comes to this and they said that there's also a desire to put plans in place to ensure for easier and greater collaborations between the development and publishing teams at Square Enix and hope that this will make its customers even happier than before and then of course we cannot forget they still wanted to elaborate more on blockchains. So as for blockchains, Gary, you added that blockchain entertainment slash web 3.0 AI and the cloud are three of Square Enix's main focus investment fields. And that is currently working to modify our organization structures and to optimize our research allocations in support of these efforts. And that pretty much what is all that they've been that Square Enix president Kerry you has stated here in this article when it comes to AI technology but it also has you thinking like what the future of gaming is going to be when it comes to AI technology that's being implemented in our games and especially how it's going to affect the development cycle for our games and how would this impact um you know the employees or employment um, within the gaming industry as, as well. Will it put a lot of these developers or will it put a lot of these programmers out of a job once they get a hold of this technology or will it just be used as a tool to help assist when it comes to solving complex problems behind the scenes and to also help or create new forms or new ways to render a lot of these games that we see uh, moving forward and especially with AI technology for them to go back and revive old classics or even make the remastering process of older games um, much easier so this is going to be quite interesting to see what their approach is moving forward when it comes to ai technology and what other companies are going to how they're going to utilize this technology but square enix it seems like tech, square enix at this point is just tr want to try so many different things like i said the blockchain is something they want to dive into it seems like they're just digging in trying to figure out what's going to help them move forward you know as a company as they try to figure out <laughs> what they want to be as a triple a publisher um, in the industry so i definitely want to hear your thoughts in the comment sections below what do you think about this idea of them really trying to apply pressure when it comes to ai technology 
um, moving forward within the company and the industry itself. So if you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe button for more gaming content here on this channel. This is Mugen Lord, signing off. I'll see you game fiends later. Peace out. Thank you.